Good morning. So just been uh, down the garden centre on the way home. I stopped there for a toilet stop and uh, just to have a look see if they've got any cheapos. So um got these pansies, 50p a go. Look alright, don't they? And these, I can't remember the name of them, but they were 20p a go. And I'm just going to pop these up. Got loads of new buds in there. So that's okay, 20p a go. And I've got this. This says it is viola, but not so sure. 10p. Can't really see any life in it. But anyway, 10p. Here I go on my shelf with my other bits and pieces. See what happens. And I also got this one. This one was a pound. This one was a Duga Burgundy Glow. These were X Wyvel, the Wyvel has now been taken over. But these have got some purpley sprouts on them. So that might be alright, just gonna sit that up there. So that'd be good. And I also brought some tulip bulbs. Fill up a bag of bulbs, normally seven pound, now a pound. So we can't go wrong with that. So I'm just gonna fill some of these pansies, make a couple of baskets, and hang them up in my shed with a bit of colour. So let's get on and do that. So I've just got these baskets and they've just got lots of holes in them. I've just used a, an old compost bag, lined it. I'm just going to stick in a bit of compost on the bottom. Move that one up the way. Good idea to stick it in a bucket stop it from moving. So I'm just going to do a small row, low level there, and I'm just going to put a small row of tulips around the inside. So these are already sprouting. So I'll just put a small load of tulips, and then I'm just going to cover up. Just normal compost. And then I'm going to put some of these pansies in the top. They look alright. 50p. They have a whole basket arrangement. One pound fifty. I'm just going to stick a few of these in. Around the edge. I'm going to cut this down a bit, this plastic. To get some more compost.
and then a couple in the middle. Really? It's not really nice out there today. Bit of a cold, damp day. But uh, there we have it. So that'd be nice when the sun, when the tulips come out. I'm just going to cut away the excess of the bag. There. Job done. I'm just going to make sure there's some holes in the bottom for the water to come out. Anything on the bottom? No, that's that. So there we go. That would be great. So I'm going to stick those outside onto the shed. These baskets were picked up outside the house that were dumped. So they were free also. And now I should go and do the other one. So now I'm on to the second one. Just putting a few of these around the edge. And I can actually use these trays again. Actually, quite nice trays. Save a bit of plastic. Now that one of the plants never grew, you'd have had a duff one if you paid the full, full twenty odd good price, whatever it is. the normal price. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine now fifty P. I'm just gonna get one more. Stick them in here. Five ninety nine, wow. Nice one there in the middle. So there we have it. Two freshly planted baskets. Nice bit of colour in the spring. There we go. So let's stick them outside. So one of my hangers came off in the winter. So I'm just going to screw that back on and then we're good. Nice big screw. this time. So let's get the baskets. So there we go. Two nice spring baskets. So I look forward to seeing them come out. Job done. Great. 
Now I'm going to take the cyclam in. So I'm just going to put these cyclam in, in a bigger pot. I'm going to do that on my bench over here. Smoke behind this back. Free range eggs. Take off the sellotape. Oh, no.
look good. I've got my forks. Alright. I'm just going to spread it over, cover the cardboard. Let it do its thing. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Well, it's one way to fill a bed. Oh, that's good. And this one. There's one sticky bed. Whew. Whoa. Well, that's a good job done. So here we have my two new beds, just covered with manure. I'm going to get a couple of bags, compost, and put them in each of these. Whew. Just think. Whoa. Anyway, that's a real good job done. And I've still got some bags left. Quite a few bags left. If anyone watched my previous videos, they will see this bed here was also the same. This was just pure manure filled in this bed and then straight in went the tomatoes and the tomatoes did really good and now it's got the garlic in so it's a good way of filling my beds up I think this lot now are going to go into this bed and give this a fill up and then I'll have my veg in one bed bed and one, two three, four, five, and then working down the rest of it. There. I wasn't intending on doing this bed today, but as it's such a nice day, I caught all the stuff, I might as well get it down. It can only be uh, beneficial to do it now. I'm not sure if you can see, 
and this is all underwater. So this is the whole idea of making these raised beds all along here. No one else has raised beds. But it's so, so waterlogged. In the summer it's okay, but in the winter it's really waterlogged. So I'm just putting the cardboard down and manure on top. And then it'll be like this bed. And the ones I've just done. So one last job for me, before it gets too dark, just to have a little go taking the grass out of the uh, base here. It's so wet, it's all waterlogged. So I've got a few of these uh, slabs that I picked up. But I've also noticed now, if the doors stay open, just move to the other hand, that the wooden door frame is pretty perished so with that in mind I might just leave it today find a bit of 2x2 uh, two two, stick it in there also the whole door frame is loose so it all needs a good tightening up but well, it's good to get these jobs done for winter. What would you suggest I do with this barrel full of grass? Um, not sure. It's no good putting it in a bed because it's just going to get the grass grow. Shall I just dump it? Or shall I make a special bin just for the grassy area and just let it go for years and years? I uh, don't like wasting things, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Well, it's been a grey day today. Not much happening. Still got a bit dumb. That's the main thing. So I've just got this piece of tube of one, and I'm going to Three by two, three by one, three by one. So I'm going to stick that, give it a cut, and give it a good old uh, start. Stick it in there. There we go. Two minutes later, nice new bit of board on the bottom. I just triple a couple of screws in and uh, hold it together. That's a grand job done. Another bit of wood for the fire. Good. So a quick job done, just when I wasn't expecting to do this, but it has been annoying me for a long, long time, because it's just so wet here, look. And yes, these are my work shoes. But uh, I used a bit of the sharp sand from my parsnips from down in the uh, tub down there. So now I can come out here without getting soaked feet, although the rest of my path is still. But anyway, door shuts. That's it. Just realised now I've screwed that panel on screw with. It's only temporary to uh, stop the uh, animals getting in. You might need to repair that. Anyway, the pony tunnel is looking a bit scrubby. 
So, uh, one of my next jobs on another nice day is to give it a clean. Squelch, squelch. Well, anyway, it's getting dark now. So, best be on my way.